going back to school, you know, it can be stressful and even more tough if your child has a disability. Stephanie Thomas is a disability lifestylist, and she's here with some must-have items to help your child succeed. Stephanie, thank you so much for coming in. We do appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. She just kind of gave me a rundown of some of these items, <laughs> and um, th maybe your kid is not in a wheelchair full-time or has something that they're dealing with, but they may just have a temporary issue, like they may be on crutches, and you have some great items for people that are on crutches. Yeah, if they had a little bit too much fun this summer. Yeah. Here is a company, it's called Crutch Critters, and a mom had a daughter on crutches. She was like, this is just too painful for her. She took a stuffed animal and literally put it on top of the crutches, and it worked, and she created this company. comes in a variety of animals, and if you have you ever been on crutches before? I was going to tell you, I broke my foot last year, ah. and the pain of the crutches was almost worse than the pain of the broken foot. Yeah, and most people don't really think about that, so this adds a bit of comfort, and who gets to take their stuffed animal to school? Yeah, that's so that's a so ton of fun. And then you have Crutch Ease is another company, and they have crutch bags, and these crutch bags are great. You can put bottled water, keys, cell phones, whatever you need to put in there. And they also come in a variety of styles and colors, which is also really, really great. That's so great because once you've got two crutches, you have no free hand to carry. No free hand. So even just a backpack's kind of a lot of work. So that's perfect just to at least carry a few things with you. Yeah. Um, over here, this is a San Diego mom who designed yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a San Diego-based company. And actually her company brings together a lot of different items, not so much design them, but bring them together in order to help you pick Pimp Your Wheelchair. And it's actually a company called <laughs> Pimp My Chair. Pimp My Chair. And if you take a look at this, this is a wheel that can replace current wheels on wheelchairs. They light up, and the company also has spokes that light up, which add to safety as well as style. So style, comfort, and confidence is what all of this is all about for children going back to school with disabilities. That's perfect. Now, this would be the seat cushion for the chair? Yes, this is the seat cushion for the chair. Also comes in a variety of styles and colors for boys and girls, men and women doesn't matter. She has a lot of variety. It's a great site. If you want to pimp your chair, yes. there's some <laughs> items for that. Uh, this is something I never thought of. We're talking about this t-shirt over here. When yes. we think of children who are dealing with things like autism and their sensitivity to things, a company's design clothes for those individuals. Yes, yeah, Soft Clothes does a great job. If you fill this cotton, it's actually pre-washed, 100% organic Soft. cotton. And it looks like a normal t-shirt, but it's not because the seams are actually sewn flat so that it's comfortable digitally designed tags so there are no paper tags anywhere on the t-shirt as well as you have here for little girls that love to wear jewelry pearls and necklaces but they can't they have an option to have it on the t-shirt with no issues which is perfect and maybe your child just is sensitive to those items anyways, anyway regardless because right. I know that I used to have my mom cut the tags out of all my shirts just that itch factor back there yeah it does bother it by the way how did you become a disability lifestyleist this is a neat title <laughs> well actually I was born with non-severe disabilities on on my right hand and on my feet and that's where my interest came but about 20 years ago I just had this hobby of looking up clothing items for people with disabilities and I found that there weren't very many options out there and yeah. that's when I started to get into writing and styling and putting together ideas for people who dress with disabilities I mean here in the San Diego sure. area alone one in 30 students are going to go back to school only in the public school area with some type of disability that's not accounting for students who actually have who are being homeschooled or in private schools. So it's a huge need. And so for me, it started early and I love it. It's actually, yeah. it's not really like work for me. It's more like a passion and I love it. Well, thank you so much for sharing these items with us. If people want some more information about this, their website they can go to. Yeah, actually you can go to the disabilitylifestylist.com. That's so easy, disabilitylifestylist.com. Yep. Stephanie Thomas, thank you so much for your time it's today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank and you. we wish all the students best of luck as they head back to class. It is the most performed prenatal genetic test during the last 50 years, but you know what? It's not without controversy. In the next hour, what could replace the amniocentesis? And a wild chase caught on camera why a suspect may now face kidnapping charges as well. Time now, 7.56, and we're back after this. Thank you.